Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a weather Q&A segment. This is called Weather Overtime. For those of you who have never been here before, this is our online video weather blog, helping you to know a little bit more about what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. Things are quiet for right now. We were watching some thunderstorms over portions of the area in northern Arkansas over the last few hours. Those are a shadow of their former selves, just dwindling showers right now. We'll take a look at those on Storm Tracker 3. Yes, coming up here in just a little bit. But as of right now, there's no reason for the immediate need of the umbrella at this time. So definitely some good news on that. If you've got any weather reports out there, let's do some amateur meteorology. Let's do your city and state. And then also, again, temperature, wind speed, rain gauge information, anything like that. Let us know a little bit more about what's going on in your particular neck of the woods. And of course, if you have weather pictures, we'd love to see them. Didn't get any new ones overnight. We're going to go back and check here in the last hour to see if anybody sent anything else in, but if you've got them, please drop them to me at, again, my Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can email them to me right there at austin.onic at wreg.com. Forecast, if you can't stick around for the whole thing in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, seven-day forecast down here, and all of that information available here at this website, wreg.com slash weather. Rest of the day today, again, nothing you haven't heard before at this point in time, looking for some hot and humid conditions across much of the area, and that's going to be about as good as it gets into the course of the next several days. We'll take a look at that forecast in detail coming up in just a little bit. Today is Flag Day, so make certain you've got your American flags displayed properly out there. If you'd like some hints and tips and tricks about proper flag display etiquette, head to my Facebook page, and there's a whole bunch of information there from Boy Scouts of America that you can use to help make certain that your display is properly set up out there. Rest of the day, again, not seeing a great deal of thunderstorms possible, but there will be a potential of some activity into this afternoon. So again, we will be looking for that possibility of an isolated shower or thunderstorm out there, but nothing really much going on in and around the Mid-South, at least at this time anyway. Also, if you are around the area of Marston, Missouri, just north and outside of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Minor earthquake occurred last night at 2.2. Again, that was barely felt, again, by humans out there. If you did feel something, again, vibration or anything in the way of any earthquake damage, which was unlikely but still possible around this area, the USGS and our own Center for Earthquake Research and Information would love to know what you felt and when. It happened at about 7.34 p.m. Wednesday evening. In order to get to this, go to my Facebook or Twitter or uh, Instagram pages. We'll have information on this. You can go to earthquakes.usgs.gov or you can go to memphis.edu slash CERI for the Center for Earthquake Research and Information and then click on the link for this. Hit the Did You Feel It link and then enter your information. Your information, citizen science participation in that can help these places understand more about how earthquake energy goes on through the Earth's crust. And again, that's good and important information for research. The more people we have participating, the more we can have detailed information. And maybe, who knows, some days we, someday in the future we might even be able to predict stuff like that, all because you helped out right now. So if you felt this, please fill out the information. Again, you can get there more details a little bit later on. Ole Miss at the Oxford Track and Field Facility few people out for a jog or a stroll for this morning. And again, the coolest part of the day is right now, and that's about as good as it gets for the time being. Not too bad around Rhodes College in central Memphis from the Weather Underground Network. We've got a little bit of blue skies out there and seeing a few clouds across portions of the area. Live view of 240 and airways looking back toward Memphis International Airport, and again, things moving along quite nicely at this time. So far, not reporting any delays according to the FAA for this morning. It delays of 15 minutes or less, and that trend expected to hold steady as we go throughout the next hour or two. Likewise, major and connecting airports across the continental United States, we're not seeing any problems at all at least so far. If anything does show up on here, we'll let you know. Or you can go to the FAA's website from the Air Traffic Control System Command Center at fly.faa.gov. Great website to go to for more information on stuff like that. And again, for much of the Mid-South area, a little hazy, but otherwise not doing too bad. Golfers starting to hit the links this morning at Windy Country Club off of Winchester. And we do still have a little bit of problem with, with fog 
We do not have a dense fog advisory as of nine minutes past eight o'clock on Thursday, but from Jackson and I-40 down to about Tupelo in the Tennessee River Valley, there is some more Apache fog, a little thicker. So again, that could possibly cause some problems with visibility out there, lowering the visibility. So it may want to allow for a little bit of extra time. Most of this should burn off in the course of about the next couple of hours. So hopefully not too much to worry about there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, little if anything taking place right now directly in the Mid-South. We could see a few speckles of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. And what's left of some thunderstorms from north central Arkansas? Gone, maybe just a bit of an echo showing up there, but nothing much left of those particular cells. And as of right now, directly in the Mid-South, Storm Tracker 3S is coming up with nothing in the way of rainfall. Topping 80 degrees already at U of M Earth Sciences. Heat index numbers, that's the temperature plus the humidity to give you that heat index. We've got numbers back into the mid to upper 80s once again, so looking at some pretty warm and sultry conditions across much of the Mid-South area as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Speaking of which, let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on throughout the rest of the afternoon. No good news if you're expecting any cooler air in the Mid-South area. Through this afternoon, temperatures back in the lower 90s. Normal for this time of the year is about the mid to upper 80s, and that's about as good as it gets out there for right now. Could be seeing, again, some heat index numbers easily around the triple digits and over that. So if you're planning on working or exercising outdoors, definitely want to take some breaks or wait until you get into around the evening hours so at least you won't have the direct sunlight blurring down on you. And that'll be definitely good news for anybody out there doing yard work or getting in that last jog or stroll across the area from the overnight periods. Looking at very warm conditions overnight, temperatures by tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid-70s only and rapidly rising through about the upper 80s as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures today, again, just a bit above normal. Normal about the upper 80s, lower 90s as we're going to wind up into the rest of the day today. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. Again, if you've got anything in in the way of uh, pictures around the Mid-South when it comes to weather. Make sure you send them along to me on my email address. And also, again, if you've got any weather reports around the area, we'd love to see temperature, wind speed, stuff like that. So drop those into the comments section, and we'll read those off as we have the opportunity to do so. Now, chances of showers and thunderstorms over the next few days, fairly limited, but it will be possible to get an isolated thunderstorm going. So again, if you have outdoor plans out there, Swimming lessons for the kids, that golf game you really wanted to get in, heading off to a church social, family reunion, whatever you've got. It's going to be pretty steamy out there, so take that extra thermos of water along. And, of course, again, looking at that outdoor possibility of thunderstorms. See anything going on out there in the way of thunderstorms? Again, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of getting struck by that thunderstorm. Yesterday, we showed you some thunderstorms that were producing lightning some 15 to 20 miles away from their parent thunderstorm on Storm Tracker 3S radar. That could easily happen at any point in time, so something to consider. All the way throughout the rest of this next weekend, the last weekend of spring, going to be heading into summer one week from today. The solstice occurs at about 5.07 next Thursday morning, and the first full day of summer looks pretty typical back in the upper 80s to lower 90s, so not much changing here. Matter of fact, not a lot is going to be going on in the way of change over the next several days. Things remain pretty stable. Now, toward summer, if everything holds, we'll take a break from the rainfall and temperatures again back in the upper 80s. This is decently significant because at this time of the year, we could easily be back in the triple digits and some just absolute record-breaking heat. We've seen some of that happen in the last about 10 to 15 years. This year, it looks like things are pretty stable all the way across the board, so not really too much of anything going out there at this time. Tropical air mass in place over the Mid-South. That's where all that warm, humid air is coming from. But down into the tropics, we're watching a new storm system, which has now made its way back to the Gulf of Mexico. It's crossed the Yucatan Peninsula overnight, and as it heads its way into the Gulf, it's going to be heading over some fairly warm waters. So this could become our B storm of the year. We've already had Alberto. This one making its way into the southern Gulf could be a threat for later on. Right now, it's just an area of investigation, Invest 91L. It is not a threat. Matter of fact, it's not even technically a storm right now. It's just a collection of clouds and showers and thunderstorms out there, and that's about it. The spaghetti models, so named, again, for obvious reasons, are showing the development of this storm 
taking its way back toward the north and west. Right now, it appears to be aiming south of the Rio Grande if it stays on that course in about the next 48 to 72 hours. This could easily change. So again, if you're heading to anywhere up around the area of Brownsville, Corpus Christi, Houston, even around New Orleans, I'd be keeping a very close eye on this storm. If you're planning on going down this way for vacation or business or whatever, now is the time to make certain you're paying attention to this before it becomes an issue. There's no point traveling all that way only to just travel and move back out of the way of the storm if evacuation orders get issued. So something to think about with this particular cell. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the next several days. Join me on the radio with Bob and Josh on TalkBack Live Monday through Friday mornings at 8 to 10 a.m. If you're outside the signal area, all you have to do is drop on by TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. Mr. Gates back from Disneyland and in fine voice for this morning, so doing a very good job uh, on the time cues out there. So. Hi, kids! <laughs> and apparently hanging out with Mickey Mouse as well. <laughs> You gotta admit it was you gotta admit it was pretty accurate though. It was pretty good. Uh, don't forget about Jim. Where was I? Jim Jagger's forecast coming up on News Channel Three first at four later on this afternoon, and all the way through News Channel Three at ten. And of course, coming up at about ten thirty this morning, we'll have an update on the forecast and a look at weather where the troops are. So stick around for a lot more. That'll be at about ten thirty or so later on this morning. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything on here you want to see? More climate details, more satellite information, whatever. Let me know. Austin.onic at w WRAG.com and keep us updated on what you'd like to see. We'll see if we can update that with more information on here. Please send in your pictures as well. We'd love to be able to see some weather pictures from around the Mid-South. We get a few of them, but we'd love to get more of them. So send us your best photographic efforts and we'll display them on News Channel 3 newscast and of course here on our webcast as well. So definitely want to have you along for that one. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. Got to wrap things up. We have an update coming up here in just about 10 minutes on News Channel 3 for weather, news, and traffic. And, of course, stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 live at 9 later on this morning. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for you for an early Thursday morning, our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and, of course, more weather information. Join us at WREG.com weather throughout the rest of the day. Thanks for joining us today.